In this lesson, we're going to learn about formatting numbers and dates. Right now, we have our worksheet in front of us here. If you see over here, you see a bunch of numbers right here. And you see how numbers here are kind of different from the number here and a little bit different from the numbers here. There's an area here called Home tab called um, Number, the Number section. And if we go right here, you'll see it changes up here. We have General. Now it's Currency. And now it's Accounting. So these are different number formats you can have for the cells. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Maybe see them a little bit more. If we have this cell listed as general, we can come up over and we want to have a dollar sign. Well, this should probably be general because it's units sold. Let's see if we go to manufacturing cost, manufacturing price. We have a couple options here. If we click on this, we can choose the number format. Number format is you have two decimal points there. It's considered a number. Currency format. We have a dollar sign here, which is similar to this. We could choose accounting. Now accounting puts the dollar sign way to the left, like it is on this one. So we have, and we also have more number formats here too. We can choose how many decimal points we want this. And we can see how it would change up here. We can have several different decimal points there. You have two, four, or five. You could change your symbols here, depending on if you're dealing with different types of money, international money. And also have negative numbers, how you want to display negative numbers. If you want to use a comma by the um, 1000 here or not, we can choose if we want to do a negative number, such as maybe this right here. And if we went up and edited that and put in a negative, now it would show as red and parentheses would indicate negative. Come back over here, more number formats. You can choose percentages, fractions, how you want the fractions displayed, scientific. Lots of different options here. So let's go back and change this to just a number. Oh, maybe just put it as a general here. And we're gonna go back and take that off. There we go. These are the couple of shortcuts you have here too. You could do it as different dollars, euros, percentages, a couple of shortcuts that you have, increase decimal, decrease decimal. So if we wanted to increase the decimal, if we had this up at say number, and we wanted to increase the decimal, we could do it here. Decrease it. So we have quite a few options right there. We can also do a similar thing with dates. Go in the section here. Right here, the dates are divided by columns, but let's say we wanted to just do a date over here. And we just wanna do maybe one, 15, 2021 it just puts it in just like we have it right here now if we put in 1 slash 15 and I just put 21 let's see it automatically puts the 20 in there we can change this around right now it's saying this is a date format we can click on the bottom part here so let's click down the drop down arrow and we could do a short date, which is what we have. Why don't we try a long date? There we go. Puts in a long date for you with the, with the um, day spelled out. We can go, we'll go to, even here to uh, more formats here. We could have the long date. We could have it where the year is first. Some countries like it that way better. We can do it. Right here, it kind of gives you an example right here as well. Or just a day in a month. So we have some 
variation as to what we want to put in here and customize this quite a bit. Okay, so this concludes our lesson on formatting numbers and dates and stay tuned for the next lesson.